What's happening everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit. And in this video, I wanted to share five tools that I use in my Amazon business that I believe are extremely important. Now, you don't need every single one of these tools in order to have success and make money. And the truth is you actually don't need any of these tools or these softwares. But the truth is these softwares will help you to leverage your time, make better decisions, and be able to just maneuver quicker, make better decisions, and make sure you minimize the amount of mistakes you make. And there's no way around it. If you're selling on Amazon, you're certainly going to make mistakes. But these five softwares or tools that I'm using are game changers, okay? So let's get right into this video. And before we get into this video, be sure to smash that like button, show some love. I'm pumped up. I'm doing over 60,000 a month right now in my Amazon business. And uh, for folks who don't know me, I started flipping bikes on Craigslist. And then I had a full-time eBay clothing business. And then I sold books from thrift stores for years. I still do it a little bit, but now I'm most mostly eBay to Amazon flips. So let's get right into this video and let's dive into the five tools and softwares I use to have, you know, a successful Amazon business that's generating over 12,000 a month. Okay. So tool or software number one that I think is imperative. I think it's probably the most important tool. It's the least expensive and it's so important when it comes to analyzing deals, knowing if you're going to win the buy box, knowing how much you're going to be able to sell an item for. And especially if you're doing eBay to Amazon flips or online arbitrage, huge. But even if you're just thrifting, this is huge right here. The tool is called Keepa. Now Keepa, it's free, but there's also a $20 a month plan where you can get a lot more data, which I'd highly recommend. This Chrome extension is imperative for pricing your items, for checking the buy box, for checking like where the price has been, where it's going, how many of an item is selling. It's huge. I can't tell you enough. Keepa is probably the top tool that I would recommend. And matter of fact, as we're shooting this video, I just remembered I'm hosting a free training that's actually going down at the end of the month. It's 100% free and it's going to be all about how to use Keepa to the fullest potential, how to really leverage your time, how to make the best decisions and grow your business. So definitely register for that down below. I'm telling you right now, Keepa, my number one top tool and it's free. Of course, there's a paid version as well for 20 bucks a month, but uh, check that out, Keepa.com, all right? And, and be sure to register for that training. It'll be a game changer. Number two, go to Lister. I'm actually rocking the uh, the sweatshirt right now. Um, now, I am an affiliate. I don't own the company, but my, my good friend Avery does. Um, he's been selling on Amazon for years, although he's been kind of going through some hurdles and challenges in his business. But um, I learned a lot about selling books and Amazon from him. And he created a software called GoToLister, which makes it so much faster to list your products. So if you're listing through Amazon Seller Central, uh -huh. stop. Do you need GoToLister? Nope. Do you need Acceler List, Inventory Lab? These are all listing softwares. You don't need them, but they make things so much faster so much faster. So I'd highly recommend go to Lister. I'll put a link down below for that, but it really helps me to, to speed up my listing. And another thing, a cool feature about go to Lister, it has a feature called smart pricing, which essentially it prices for you and helps you choose a price, which is, I love it. It's absolutely great. Number three, be cool. Be cool is a repricer. Now I use this on the back end of my Amazon business to reprice my inventory. So I use the AI feature and be cool. It is about a hundred bucks a month. So if you don't, you know, have two, three, four hundred listings, if you're not making, you know, four or $5,000 a month, I don't know if it's necessary, but I'll tell you right now, if you've never used a repricer, once you start to implement be cool, I'm telling you, you're, you're, you'll have the best sales day in your, your entire life. If you have good inventory and you've never used a repricer. Um, I started using be cool because of my buddy Warner over at fields of profit. He told me about this about 18 months ago and I was using like reprice it and whatnot. But when I switched to be cool and I utilized AI, I mean, it's been crazy. Be Cool has attributed over $318,000 in sales over the last 18 months due to the repricer. So game changer. I love it. I'll put a link down below for you guys. You can get a, a free 30 day trial. Number four, Scout IQ. If you're going to thrift stores, if you're scanning books, you've got to get yourself a barcode scanner and get yourself Scout IQ. Scout IQ will link up to your phone and it'll allow you to scan items so much faster. It'll make decisions for you. You could actually put in your... Um, your headphones and it'll actually go to ding or beep beep 
for a, a good buy or a bad buy. It'll light up green for good purchases, red for bad purchases. It has e-score, which is essentially a number that shares how many sales it's had um, with at least one day of a sale over a six month period. Scout IQ, game changer. I love it. I've been using Scout IQ for, for many years. And I'll tell you right now, my mom loves it. She's been selling books for, you know, almost 10 years. Love Scout IQ. Speed is the name of the game when you go thrifting. And the faster you could scan, the more books, the more items you could go through. I absolutely love it. And last but not least is a Chrome extension called IP Alert. Now, when you're selling on Amazon, you've got to be very careful, even if you have invoices, being very careful to sell items where brands are going to give you IP complaints, okay? Now, this software is not necessary, and I don't trust it 100%. I don't trust any software 100%. Any of these softwares, I don't trust them all 100%, but they're all there to help speed up my processes, mitigate risk, make better decisions. But um, IP Alert essentially warns you if a brand is going to give you an IP complaint, which is an intellectual property complaint. Essentially, they tattletail to Amazon, get you in trouble. You could get suspended or kicked off for getting IP complaints. And all because you're ungated and, and not restricted to sell an item doesn't mean you won't get in trouble actually selling that item. So IP Alert will actually warn you of um, possible IP complaints. It's crowdsourced information. And, uh, I've done videos about this below, uh, in, in the past. I'll put a link to a video training I've done about this and I'll put some coupon codes down below. Links to everything will be down in the description. But for anyone doing online arbitrage or eBay to Amazon flips, um, IP alert is huge. Um, also ASIN Zen or ASIN alert. I forget what it's called. I use that as well. That's really fantastic. I use that side by side with IP alert. I'll drop a link down to that down below as well. But those are the five softwares I use. Keepa, GoToLister, Be Cool, Scout IQ, and IP alert. Again, if you want to learn about how to use Keepa, which I think it's the best, it's the cheapest, and it's the most valuable. If you want to learn how to use this to your full advantage to grow your Amazon business, make better decisions, mitigate your losses, and really double down on the winners, be sure to join. We're going to do probably a 90-minute to two-hour training, 100% free, where we break down Keepa, how to use it, how to analyze, how to read the charts, um, uh, buy box statistics, variations, offers tab. Register for that down below. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, show some love, share this with a friend. Appreciate you all. Bye-bye.